Okay, you wanna show this here? This is our special 1673 swedging machine uh, set up now to reduce uh, three quarter inch schedule 40 to our customer's uh, ID diameter. Okay, it is a, uh, it has a five horsepower, three phase motor. Uh, starters right here, turn it on. Runs a three inch ID cylinder that does the uh, reducing. This machine we have set up at 2,000 PSI pressure. Uh, if you need to adjust it, you remove this cap screw here, this cap here, and there's a screwdriver uh, uh, slot in there for you to adjust the pressure. Uh, this is great, uh, great amount of pressure for the application that you're going to be doing. Okay. The cylinder is controlled with this valve. You might want to show them here, Deb. That just moves the cylinder back and forth. It doesn't have the tooling in there now, but just to show you how it goes back and forth. When we reduce your parts, we will always bottom the cylinder out. That's very important to remember, so it's always going to be the same. This is our reducing die. Inside it, it's, uh, it's a machine to get the right OD diameter for your ID application. It's got a one inch by 14 thread in the back and that simply screws on to the stud in the, on the end of the shaft. Make sure when you put it on that it always stays tight to the lock washer behind it. Lock it in tight, bring it back. These are the collets to hold the pipe. Bottom part is removable, top part is bolted on to our arm. And then over here, we have your stocks for your different lengths. Right now it's set for 36 inch. You want to go to 24, you simply move it up to the uh, 24 location. And then up to the front location, which is for a 12 inch application. This stop will assist the clam collars in holding your part, okay? So right now we have it set up to get what we think is the right uh, depth of uh, reduction. This is a part that's cut at 12 inches. Uh, we recommend that you lubricate the pipe somewhat, not every one, but maybe other one, uh, having a can of uh, oil or grease in it to stip it in there would probably work out good. It just works a lot better if it's lubricated. You simply make sure you put this back to the stop because you want that to work with the collets. Bring your collet holder down, lock it in place, and then we will forward the ramp. You might want to show them in here, Deb. Now right now, it reduced the part. Now we'll bring it back. We simply reverse, look it, pull it up, and there's our part. If you want this to be longer or shorter, you simply adjust the, uh, the back stop here with, with, with the two nuts. Uh, that's a one uh, 12 inch part. I'll run a 24 inch part next. Simply, like I said, simply move it back to the, to the location, which is right there. Lubricate the part. Again, make sure it's tight against the stop. Bring it down, lock it in place, bring the ram forward. It will stop at the same place every time and give you the same, the same depth of reduction. That's the 24 inch part. Next we'll go to the longest part, the 36 inch. Again, back to the stop, down into the uh, bottom of the collets, clamp it up, bring it forward, and done you are. There's your parts. Now we also sent along, we don't think you're going to need it, but just in case, we have a little for the longer parts. If we're worried about the bowl that might be happening, which we don't have any now, we simply got this part here, you bolt that down, and that allows your part, your longer part, to also fit in there. While you're doing it, you can stick a 3 8 bolt in there to hold it down. We don't think you're gonna need it, but we're gonna send that part along just in case it would be uh, uh, something you might need down the road.